All right, so we're gonna do a, another Abyss review reaction, whatever the hell you wanna call these things. Uh, but we're gonna do another one on Alex, the person that did the Lenny Burgeon team. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out here. I hope I remember to put that there. But uh, during that video, I asked to see his builds. Um, so he made a uh, the uh, Burgeon Lenny the sequel. So we're gonna watch that one. And then above it, we have Akio, which we're gonna watch Akio's uh, later on. But he said, here's my build to look at. Constant Zambazenta jump scare is hilarious, by the way. Yes, uh, one of Wolfie VGC's uh, videos with Zambazenta kept trying to jump up. Um, okay, so let's look at this sequel. Okay, so here are the builds that uh, Alex is running. So we've got Lenny, level 99 90 with max HP 20,000, 1900 attack, uh, 226 EM, which is really, really good. Split real quick, 43.6 over 253 with Marshmallow Hunter. So I'm assuming, no, this one may not have Marshmallow Hunter. It might have Marshmallow Hunter. Uh, so I'm gonna assume that that's gonna actually go up. Uh, for weapon, of course, the great first great magic, which is his signature. For artifacts, it is Marshmallow Hunter, so that is actually going to be 36% on top of uh, that 43. So we're actually going to be close to 80% on the crit rate, which is going to be pretty good. Uh, nice artifacts. I'm just going to let these play. Constellation, C1. Okay, yep. Now we're going to go to this Nahida. EM, 912. Nice. Sack frags, yep. Deep Woods. Okay, that way Burgeon is going to be doing more damage. Absolutely. Trying to get as much EM as we can on her to share her EM over to Lenny. C0. Okay, cool. We're going to get a free up 45,000 HP, 72 over 177, 42 EM with Sabo's Pipe. Of course, Golden Troop, so that way Farina is doing a fair good amount of damage off field. Um, that was a lot of defense percent that I just saw there. Man, uh, she is C0. Nice. And then we're going to go to Sejuine, 61,000, 57 over 80, uh, 89, her signature. And then two-piece VG, two-piece Tenacity. So we're just stacking HP up onto the Sejuine. Um... So that way I believe that her burst and her skill damage is actually based on her, and it's C1, uh, based on her HP. So let's see this uh, second run in the Abyss using this, uh, using this, uh... ooh, Chamber 3, cool, uh, Lenny Burgeon team. Okay, so of course we're going to mark him, um, and I want to go back. Okay, now starts the pausing fun. Okay, so 2,900 uh, on the initial hit with uh, with Nahida. Nice. Crockert burst. Nice. Start sharing that EM. Summon that. Okay. Using her burst. 19,000 on the uh, burst and then 11,000. I believe this is from one of her minions doing the first hit. Um, and then, of course, we have some balloons being triggered. 14,000. 2,000. Okay. Nice. Going to go to Sejuine to use... I don't know what Sejuine's C1 does. Uh, I would have to look that up. Pop in the bubble. So we're going to get a lot more Hydro, and then he is going to come out. Lenny's going to come out and start popping these Burgeons. Now we do have a 25,000. I believe that's going to be from Mademoiselle Crebelette, or that's going to be from Sejuine's Bubble. Uh, we do have 6,000, 6,000 from Nahida's skill reapplying. And then that 12,000, 12,000. I think that that 12,000 is actually going to be from one of the blooms blowing up from having too many blooms. And the 7,000 over here, I'm not sure what that is actually. Because the Burgeons... No, okay, that might be the Burgeons. Okay, and then we got 20, uh, 22,956. Nice. Uh, 21,345. That is definitely the Burgeon damage right there. 21,000 from Farina. Nice. 36,000. 67,000 on the uh, burst proc, or on the skill proc. Nice. 20,000. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Even 20,000. It's like right above me. It looks really, really good. Okay. So we got a lot of numbers real quick, so we're going to stop on this frame. We have the 20,000 right above me, which is awesome. We have this 19,000 right here. 144,221, which is really, really good. And then the 68,000 right here. Then, of course, we have a 79,000 from Freena. I'm going to guess that is Mademoiselle Crabolette hitting somebody for a vape, possibly. I'm not sure if that is getting the vaporize or this... Uh, 144,000 was the vaporize. It might have been on uh, a couple different enemies where Mademoiselle Crabalette was getting one vape and Lenny was getting a different vape, which is very, very interesting. I love to see that. And then 20,800. And then 20,800 also up here. That might have been uh, another hit that was not a crit or not a vape. And then it looks like there's a, you can barely see it underneath that 20,000. There's a 58,000 trying to sneak itself in. 
So just on the screen here, we have uh, probably close to 300,000, right? We have 164, 165, plus 80,000. So yeah, we're getting closer and closer to like 30,000, 300,000 damage just at this one screen grab, which is great. And then the heat is gonna come back on, use her skill again, reapply her mark. Her burst is still up, which is great. The reapplication of that is going to be 20,457, which is really, really good. There's also a 31,000 hydro damage in here. Um, and then we have a burning and a vaporize up here happening as well. That's I think that that vaporize is the 32,938. 16,000, 13,000, 13,000 on the resummon of Farina's minions, which is really, really good. Core's going to use her burst again, going into Sejuine to activate her healing, or, and then you're not going to use her burst. Uh, 34,000, oh, this is a 20,000, okay, yeah, so we got 34,695 coming in, that looks like that was a vape on a burning, uh, and then we got 20,000 coming in from Lenny. Burning, and then this 26,000 is actually the reapplication of Nahida's skill. This is not going to be a burgeon, which is very, very interesting. Gonna shoot those to burgeon those. 55,000, and then we get, looks like we got like 14,000, 15,000, uh, but 55,868 on this shot. That was a vape. Getting another vape right there, 57,000, nice. Then we're gonna go into the next set of enemies. Applying Pyro to them. Um, Farina's minions, I believe, are about to attack, but then you're actually gonna use his skill. And that was, what was that, 70,000? And I wanna go back and see if I can grab that frame real quick before you go into the burst. Yeah, okay, so 71,494. And then, uh, which is interesting, because that looks like that's the crit. No, that would be way more than the crit. Um, so those might be vapes, and then 37,964 may have not been a vape. And then, of course, going into the burst, 68,000, 53,000. I love another, oh, another, another even number, 30,000 even on one of Farina's minions vaporizing on the enemy over there. Reapplying the heat of skill, dropping her burst again to get EM back up, which is gonna be really, really good. Uh, one of the things that's very interesting with these, oh, there's a weird hyper bloom happening from the enemies. Um, Farina, or, or Nikita using her burst is giving Lenny uh, some EM for the um, burgeons, but also giving him and Farina EM for the vaporizes, which is really, really cool because you can almost invest no EM into them or only get your EM through your substats and then have Nahida share the rest. And then you've reached your mark for how much EM you want on a vape, even with little to no investment. So it's really, really good that both Farina and Lenny can be using Nahida's burst. 14,000, nice. Okay, I'm gonna guess that that 700 was Sejuine's skill. So that Hyper Bloom looks like it was actually going to go and hit Lenny. 18,000. Burgeon right there. Uh, 21,345 on the Burgeon. Yep, 200, or, uh, 22,632 on that, and then 33,000. So just in here, again, we're hitting nearly 100k. Right, um, with the 21, the 21, the 22, and the 33, we're we're nearing that 100k mark. Uh, but because it's Burgeon, they're actually taking AOE ginger damage, meaning that they're going to be hit by multiple blooms. So that other 21,000 is hitting the enemy as well. So that's really, really good. We're actually breaking 100k with that one shot. And then we got uh, 17,000 from the reapplication of Nahida's skill because of how Nahida's skill works. Uh, 55,000, that's gonna, I'm gonna assume that's gonna be a vape from Mademoiselle Crebelet. Anytime that you see a massive hit like that from Farina, it's gonna be from Mademoiselle Crebelet. 31,000, 22,000. And then it looks like there was a 101,832 coming in from the skill, and then another 19,898 happening right above Lenny's head. Going into proc his burst. Nice getting vapes. 64,000, 64,000. Nice. There's another 13,000, another 19,000 from uh, Farina's minions right there. Those look really, really good. 
We're going to reapply Nahida. Yep, we're going to wait for them to summon, so that way we're not wasting that damage. And then, of course, going to go back into Farina. Now you're going to go into Siege when you use Siege Wind's Burst. Interesting. Now you're going to go to Lenny. Proc the Burgeons. Nice. We have 30,000. Oh, gosh. I, I want to see that again. I loved the stacking of numbers right there. The, like, there was just so many numbers all in one instance. I really, really like that. I want to see that one more time on this shot. So we have a Burgeon and a Burgeon and a Burgeon and then a Burning. Now we're going to have a 30,000. That's going to be from the reapplication of Nahida's skill. Then we got the 21,000. That is going to be from the Burgeon. Another 21,000 hiding behind the 30,000. Then we're going to get into the Vaporize, which is going to then be 81,876 because Mademoiselle Crabulette has vaporized on a burning enemy. And then there's another 24,000 behind it, it looks like, 24,675. Then we're going to have Lenny's actual shot come in and hit the enemy for that final instance with the skill. That was such a cool layering of all of the different reactions and numbers hitting at once to do a tremendous amount of damage. I really, really liked that. Oh, look, that's my own video. <laughs> So I'm going to let this play behind me one more time. Uh, if you want to see any of these particular builds from Alex, then do be sure to just hit pause, look at his artifacts, all of that stuff going on. Uh, like I always, I really, really like to see these very interesting teams um, that use like Lenny Burgeon, right? Having Lenny do the Burgeon is a very interesting take and I love it. I love whenever people use these uh, use these characters for different thing, different purposes, right? You know, you have a lot of things... Um, where Lenny you typically support with like Dia and, and you support with Vape and stuff like that. So it's very, I, I love seeing a Burgeon Lenny. It's also very crazy to me too that even though you're Burgeoning, you're still so close. Uh, like Burgeon does do self damage. So it's crazy to me that you're doing this Burgeon so close when you could be a little further back. Um, but that might just be because that's how you're used to playing Lenny and you haven't noticed your own HP going down as enough to worry about it. Of course, you're going to notice your own HP going down, but you may have not been like, oh, it's fine. I still have plenty of HP with how Lenny's kit works with his HP fluctuating. And then, of course, you have Siege Wing healing and all of that stuff. So it might not have been a big thing for you to actually say, let me get a little further back. OK, and then you give an attack buff at the very beginning. OK, cool. I did not comment on that. But no, I really like this. I want to see it go in real speed and real time speed, how fast you do it. Because I wasn't even looking at the timer at the top. It looks like you spend... It's crazy because once you spend a little bit of time kind of getting things set up, you're just going to start running through the enemies crazy, crazy, crazy fast once you get kind of everything set up. Which I love it. I love that that's how these teams kind of work. Um... And then doing the virgins, yep. But it's also great because it's causing, if you are causing a burning reaction instead of the virgin, uh, then Farina is going to be getting vapes, which is great for her, which is how you get those really high Farina numbers almost hitting 100k, which is great. And then I believe that we're going to start coming into the very end section where Lenny is going to just come on the field, yep, and we're going to have the multiple, multiple instances of damage all happen. And then we got the, okay, no, that, that was on the last two. Okay. So yeah, so you wait on the enemies, you wait on them to summon their pets so that way you can fully damage them because you cannot kill them before they do that. Um, so then once they're on the field and they're tightly clustered like that, that's whenever you're gonna proc the virgins to hit everything for a ton of damage all at once. Using Siege Wings Burst to take out one of them, going to Lenny, here's the multi-layers, which I freaking love that shot. I love it, I love your team. All right. Also, apparently YouTube wants you, everybody, to go watch this Dia video that I made. So that is going to be it for this video. If you want to see your own Abyss uh, run, reviewed, reacted to, whatever the hell I'm going to call these things, then do be sure to join the Discord, check out the Abyss review channel over on the side there, and then I will make a video talking about your review. Uh, if I'm going to get back into rating these things, I'm going to give this a another uh, 10 out of 10. Right? I love it. I love it whenever teams are, or characters are used in odd teams like this because you can actually make it work really, really well. So that is going to be it for this video. I will see you in the next one.